So, you've heard about the stories, right? Considering that you're listening to this, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of stories. But let me explain. See, recently around where I live, there have been strange things going on. I live a few blocks away from Disneyland, which led me to start reading and listening to scary shit people have seen at the Disney parks. A kind of a hobby nowadays. A few days ago, someone on my street went missing. My street went ape shit when they heard about this, since they thought that that there was a murderer wandering around our streets. But what I saw a few nights ago says something far, far more worse than a murder. A day before the disappearance, I was making myself a cup of coffee, when from my kitchen window, I saw something huge walking down my street. I couldn't see what or who it was since it was dark outside, but simply put, it looked too big to be human. Curiosity got the better of me, so I decided to check it out. I went upstairs into my room, which showed more of my street from its window. And as I was looking out my window, this thing came into view. It took a while to see it clearly, but as this thing stepped under a streetlight, I kid you not, a giant fucking bear-like creature with small round ears was walking on my street on two legs. It was a somewhat yellow tone or color to it. I don't know. But it definitely wasn't human. I was in shock, but I just kept watching as this thing went into someone's house. I then stumbled onto my bed and laid on it, thinking, you know, what in the fuck I had just seen? The next day I woke up and thought everything I had seen last night had to have been just a bad dream. I went downstairs and sat on my dining area table to eat breakfast. Started searching through the internet on my computer. I then realized that there were a few new Disney creepypastas that I had never read. Excitingly, I pressed on the first one that read, The Green Door. And when I finished reading it, I was amazed. The story was good, and it sent a chill down my spine. I then realized the story had two sequels, and I decided to read them as I was eating breakfast. <laughs> wow, I whispered to myself as I clicked on another news story that read, Disney has monsters under their park. I saw one. And as I was halfway through the read, I suddenly heard police sirens outside. I thought they were just passing by, but as they got louder, I checked outside my kitchen window and saw a police officers surrounding a house on my street. A few minutes later, there were knocks on my door. I walked towards it, and as I opened it, two cops were standing in front of me. Good morning, sir, one of the officers said. Sorry to disturb you, but last night someone went missing three houses down, and we were just wondering if people on the street had somehow seen something strange on the street last night. I pondered. Uh, uh, no, officer, I, I didn't see anything. Why? What happened? I asked. Ah, uh, very well. Well, we suspect that the person was somehow kidnapped, since we found no traces of blood. Just muddy prints on his floor and a dead computer sitting on his bed. A mailman was delivering mail to his house and explained that a horrible odor was coming from inside. 
He decided to investigate himself and only heard growling sounds coming from inside. That's when he decided to call the police. Uh, us. <laughs> we found the place trashed and were left in shock. As we saw that the person living there was basically living in a shit shack. There was so much trash scattered around the whole house, and his windows were nailed shut. However, last place this person was seen was at Disneyland, where he had worked. He got home one evening and called his boss and quit on the spot, you know, no explanation. Just suddenly quit. He hasn't been heard of or seen since. But anyways, if you see or hear something, please contact us immediately, the cop said as he put his hand out, gesturing for a handshake. I will, sir. I'll keep an eye out. I replied as I shook his hand. The cops then walked away. I closed the door and sat on my couch, thinking of what the cops had just said. Nonetheless, it was a pretty sad situation, but I didn't let it stop me go on with my day. I grabbed my computer, and I finished what I had started reading before they came. When I finished the story, I realized that this story and the green door were... connected somehow. I thought that was pretty cool. Yesterday, though, a new story was uploaded by an anonymous source. The title of the story read... The monster under their park followed me home. And when I finished reading it, I mean, my blood ran cold, and my body felt limp. I couldn't believe it. Was this the same guy that went missing? I mean, it all fucking connected. The, the bear-like thing I saw a few nights ago, the muddy prints the cops found in the missing person's house, the computer they found on the guy's bed. Which, in the story, that's where he met his fate. I couldn't believe it. All these stories I've read... ...were connected. I sat on my bed for hours, thinking if I should say something. They obviously wouldn't believe me when I told them. You know, oh hey, the, the cause of the disappearance was a demonic Winnie the Pooh that followed someone home from Disneyland and swallowed the person whole. Like, no. <laughs> I mean, I won't go into full detail, but I connected the stories and realized that they all take place at Disneyland. And these demonic characters, they, they all seem to come out from strange, secret doors hidden in the park. Now, if there is a secret green door in Toontown, and there is another yellow door in Winnie the Pooh, then surely there must be more doors around the park. I know that this all sounds crazy, but... To me, it makes sense. I want you guys to do me a favor. Okay, go back and search up and and read these stories. Then give this entry of mine another read. Connect the dots yourself. I wish this whole thing hadn't landed on my lap. But here I am. Scared and terrified to even go out. I mean, shit, I'm planning to go to Disneyland to investigate what this is all about. I know it sounds stupid and insane after what I just read, but I now require closure. I think that everything happens for a reason, and if it all landed on my lap, it must have been for a reason. I'll let you guys decide on what I should do now. For now, though, I'll try to lay low and try to find out more about this keep you guys updated. Wish me luck.